Welcome back to Social Business. A pioneer of social business, Professor Muhammad Yunus, says the sector's flourishing as corporations queue to contribute to society in a more meaningful way rather than by simply cutting a cheque. Now, Yunus is partnering with some of the world's largest corporations, Adidas, Danone, Japanese food company Watami, in business ventures. Now, here's the rough. Companies invest on the condition they walk away with zero money for their efforts. Nadine Blaney from Sky News Business sat down with him and began by asking what the world's banker to the poor makes of the global economic reality that sees indebted Western European countries being bailed out. You have to redesign the financial system, financial uh, institutions, in institutional redesigning. What kind of financial institutions we build today, which serves only people at the top? It leaves out two thirds of the world population completely un unserviced. So. And they were saying that it cannot be done. And through microcredit, through Grameen Bank, we have shown that it, has, it can be done. Today, microcredit, Grameen Bank style, works all over the world, including New York City. We started uh, in New York City, we call it Grameen America, uh, in 2008, January. And by the second half of Janu uh, the year, they started, the, all the financial st uh, institutions started uh, melting away. Uh, so you have a funny situation where all those traditional big banks were melting. Uh, here is a microcredit program which is flourishing at the same time, same place. Uh, so today, right there in uh, New York City, there are four branches of that pro program doing wonderful. We are invited to do it in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, we opened a branch there. We opened a branch in Indianapolis this year. Uh, next year, there will be a branch in uh, San Francisco, in uh, Detroit. So it, you need everywhere. And the same city that I'm talking about is flourishing with the uh, payday lenders, payday loans, uh, as if nothing happens. So you pay 500% to 300% uh, interest rate on payday loans. Uh, nobody bothers. So we need to redesign a financial system where there will be no payday lenders existing anymore. Why should there be payday lenders? Are you concerned at all that the microfinance, the microcredit movement could in fact become hijacked as it becomes commercialized or if it does become commercialized because there are some cases of some organizations becoming for profit? Uh, that's where we raise this question again, the mission of the business, what, what it is. We designed so, uh, microcredit as a social business where we didn't intend to make money out of it. We run it as a business. Business makes profit. Profit stays with the business. Uh, that's what the microcredit so is the, all about. So the ones that are commercializing it, in your opinion, are not part of that? Devi deviating from that. But again, I was saying that, yes, you can make money if you want to. And on that side, I would prefer to have it in a social business. But if somebody wants to make money, I make a rule. I said the interest rate should be within a certain limit, like cost of fund plus 10%. If your interest rate within that part, then you are in the green zone of microcredit, even if you are making money. You are not making excessive money, you are just limiting yourself to that. If uh, interest rate is uh, cost of fund plus 10 to 15 percent, you are in the yellow zone of microcredit, meaning that you are a little high, you can get back to the green zone. If, uh, if it is over 15 percent plus, then you are in the red zone. You, we don't call you microcredit, we don't accept your uh, idea at all. So microcredit should be within that limit, preferably should be on a social business. And social business can be done in a, in a big way, it doesn't have, a, have to be limited scale or something like that. And that's what I was going to ask. So why is the Unis Center moving into the restaurant business? How is the restaurant business a social business? Yes, uh, we just had a joint uh, venture agreement with the Japanese uh, restaurant chain called Watami, the idea of uh, making it a social business. Uh, to bring uh, co good quality, healthy food uh, at an affordable price for common people. So the idea is to bring healthy food to common people so that they don't have to go for uh, wrong kind of food and uh, inculcate good food habits among people so the wastage is limited and so on and so forth. So one of Japan's top food and beverage corporations is not going to make anything from this initiative in the way of dividends, in the way of price appreciation, anything? Precisely. That's what the social business is all about. Already we have lots of other companies who are doing social business jointly with us, also separately uh, themselves. We have joint venture with Uniqlo of Japan 
to bring uh, clothing for the poor children in the uh, villages of Bangladesh and also sanitary napkins for women in Bangladesh. It's a social business. Uniqlo doesn't want to make profit out of it. Uh, it's all solving the problem of the people. We have joint venture with the Danone of France to bring yogurt for malnourished children so that they eat this yogurt, very specially created yogurt which brings nutrition, all the micronutrients for the children in Bangladesh, uh, make it very cheap so that even the poorest child can afford it and have a healthy life for themselves and become healthy children and grow uh, in a normal way rather than a stunted way because of malnutrition. So we have many such companies. We have a joint venture with Violi of France to bring clean water in the villages of Bangladesh in a social business way. Company will never take any profit out of this because this is dedicated to solve the problem of water. So we have one after another. We have joint venture with uh, BSF of Germany to produce mosquito nets, treated mosquito nets, so that we can protect ourselves from uh, malaria. And is that enough for a corporation to do these initiatives, or should there be a greater alignment between the business model and the way the business is run and its contribution to humanity? All, all the way, uh, is business as a whole, business as an individual, individuals within the business. It doesn't have to be one particular way. Big businesses can run big businesses at the same time big social businesses uh, because they have the creative power. They have the technology at their disposal. Once you use this technology to solve problems, suddenly you see a lot of things you could do but you never did that. Now, for example, I keep saying that why don't you use the patent rights that you have on many things that you have designed all over the world, you keep to patent rights to yourself, but hardly use the full potential of those patent rights, but you don't let anybody use it. I said, why don't we have a create a social business of managing patents so that these patents can be used for social businesses? It doesn't harm you because it doesn't uh, take away your right on the patents. Simply you are you, allowing somebody to uh, use these patents to create social businesses to solve problems. You're not doing it yourself. You're allowing somebody else to do that. And suddenly you have lots of intellectual power uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, pack, packed up into those patents, never used for anybody else except for your business interest. And now you can do, keep it that way. It's your patent and we can use it for social business.